Whether you're having cranberry sauce with turkey, chocolate with pretzels, or that, sweet and savory is a wonderful combination. So what is my contribution to this magical combination? I made this. Pineapple habanero salsa. So let's crank up the heat. Now, we can't make our pineapple habanero salsa without pineapple. All right, first thing we gotta do is trim off the skin here. And don't worry, I already evicted that underwater rentoid SpongeBob out of here. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we got a compost thing, just throwing these scraps in here for composting. Okay, with Greta Thunberg hitting the like and subscribe button, and so should you hit like and subscribe, please. Now we gotta take care of the whole body of the pineapple. And listen, we're only gonna use about 75% of this thing, so... And let's slice these into medallions about, yeah, one inch thick. Okay, next step, grab yourself a baking sheet lined with heavy duty aluminum foil, and let's place all of our pineapples on top of it. You know, this is enough pineapple, let's not go overboard. Then let's add one red onion chopped into quarters. And now for the show's co-star, two habanero peppers. Yes, yes, just two habaneros. And trust me, that is all you need. Listen, habaneros are no joke. They are 10 times spicier than a jalapeno. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, I probably should have worn rubber gloves for this. So don't go adding more unless you know what you're doing. And we take a habanero, slice it in half, place it skin side up. And once you're done, give your hands a thorough washing because capsaicin has some serious hang time. Trust me, when I was testing out this recipe, I learned that lesson the hard way. My eye! Okay, drizzle everything in a nice helping of oil. Next thing, place a rack on the top shelf of your oven and set the broiler to high. Place our ingredients on the top rack of our oven and cook them until they're nice and charred. Okay, now normally this is the part where I cut to a time card. Side note, that's a near door reboot. Awesome. But the thing is, I really want you to keep an eye on the ingredients. The first thing to go charred are the habaneros. So as soon as the habaneros are charred, take them out of the oven and leave the rest of the ingredients to get that good char. Okay, after a few more minutes in the oven, all of our greens have been charred and blackened. Justin Trudeau would be proud. Now let's begin the salsification. Let's toss all of our ingredients into a food processor. And yes, even any loose charred bits. Then let's add one bunch of cilantro. let don't forget to rip off the stems. The juice of one lime. And one teaspoon of salt. Put on the lid and take it for a spin. All right, let's give it a taste test. Woo -hoo. Whoa, man, spicy. Man, that's spicy. Glad I only went with two habaneros. That said, an extra squeeze of lime won't hurt. And let's transfer everything to a bowl. And now it's ready for tacos, burritos, or chips. And you know my favorite part about spicy food? <laughs> oh yeah, clean, drained out, Sinuses. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. I don't know if you can tell, but Man, that habanero salsa really worked up a good sweat on me.